In this video, we will talk about our prototyping activities and demonstrate our final prototype. Due to the corona situation, we had limited access to the school lab, which made it difficult for us to create the prototypes the way we intended to do. So we bought a 3D printer to help us in creating prototypes. We based all the prototyping activities on this printer, so it has been used for rapid prototyping to evaluate and test ideas, and at the end we use it to create our final prototype. Except for using the printer for our own prototyping activities, we have also used it to help other students for their prototypes and also to print protective equipment for hospitals. This is just an overview of many of the components that we printed. We didn't have any access to the real aluminum profile that is used in the revolving doors. And since our product was designed to fit the current interface of the doors, we designed and printed a profile with the same dimensions and interface that is used in the doors today. This was the starting point in our prototyping and testing activities. The next step was to design our concepts so that they would fit the profile. In this way we could see how they looked and interacted, which gave us a better feeling and understanding of how each concept worked. This process helped us to identify problems early in the process, and by having the printer it allowed us to fast design and test new ideas to solve these problems. This is our final prototype. It was created to show the ceiling principles and is not a fully realistic prototype, but it's still one on one scale. We had in mind to create a prototype that could be implemented in a small revolving door, but due to the situation of Corona, we didn't have those possibilities and therefore we just created a small part to show off the ceiling principle linearly and in the corners. Uh, the great <laughs> the part is the profile. It has the same dimension and interface as the one used in existing revolving doors. The white part is the housing for the moving parts for which the yellow flaps are attached to. The flaps are the solid barrier that will block the gaps and prevent air leakage. They are made of a flexible material that adapts easily to small variations. The blue part represents how the ceiling would look like in the corners. We had problems printing the part in the same materials as the flaps due to limited capabilities with our printer. So for this we have just used paper to show the ceiling principles in the corners. We used low power servo motors to move the flaps, but the placement of the motors in this prototype is not accurate. In the real product the motors will be integrated into the profile. To control the movement of the flaps, we have used an Arduino Uno board. Now we will demonstrate the prototype. Now you're going to watch an animation of the final concept. 